Hello, I'm Big Position. I'm Metal Crunch. And I'm Sticker Crunch Fry. I'm Avenging. I am Dancing Angel. And I am Halos. We are, some of us here are the Anonymous Gentlemen. And we are playing today Soul Game. It's a D&D type game that I made. You'll learn as we go. Zach, please show the rules. Hey guys, it's the other Zach here from the future at what editing this. And what Zach is talking about, or what he's trying to get at here with the rules, is that this is not just gonna be like your normal D&D game where you just roll 20 sided dice and do everything mostly. But the actions, there's a little bit difference. For example, yes, you still be roll you roll a D20 dice for like basic sneak rolls or looting rolls, but the fighting combat system is completely different. Where when you're in a combat, you can actually enter combat and do a decent amount of damage without a partner. Each pairs of people can actually do a wide variety of damage based on their stats, what level they are, how much health they have. That's you know, that's the new combat system that's for this game. Also, white weapons and meisters can only work together. You can have two weapons wield each other, you can have two meisters obviously wield each other. As you can see as the chart that's popped up on the screen here, Soul Acceptance chart will pop up um, whenever there's like a power up or something that's making someone switch their souls. And what this chart shows is the, what people can actually um, wield. For example, if you see my, like a symbol, a little symbol of me underneath the green area for Christy soul, which is the pink one versus the black one, you would know that she can wield me from the green zone, but from the red zone or anyone else's soul that is in there, she obviously can't wield that person. And they can't enter combat unless they have, or we can wield each other, or they have a power up or something that contradicts that, and it works as a logic loop. Moving on to the next screen that will be popping up on the screen is our inventory screen, which is popping up now. This it corresponds with our names, obviously, showing the color of our souls. Um, will contain anything we pick up during our quests. Will show up in this inventory screen, and anytime, anytime we pick something up, it will pop up in the bottom screen saying that we picked it up. Also. Um, we have this next screen, which is the level up screen, and it tells what everything is and what everyone is. For example, if we look at the one all the way to the left, which is Metal, aka Zeth, he, we all start at level 3, but he is a sniper rifle at the bottom. Then we go over to Christy's soul, like I said, she's a Meister with Soul Sight. Um, so, uh, going to the abilities in general, because you're probably wondering why the, uh, uh, there's like, there's Meisters with the M dash, and then they have like an ability. Those are used based on this chart right here. It tells everything you do. So if you want to know what abilities do what based on who's got what, pause the video, skip a couple of times, and then you'll see who's got what. Moving on. So at the end of the game, in this game, my version of uh, D&D, you don't just win by completing the game or surviving to the end or completing your quest. In this game, I give them roles. As you can see, I'm going to pull up a chart here that says what everyone's role is. Um, and based on if you guys read through this, you'll notice that there's one big role in particular. The Betrayer, or the Evil One. There's some roles, like Brendan's role, whose job is to kill the Betrayer by the end of the game, even if it means killing off the innocents. No one's allowed to talk about their role. Or, no one's allowed to be able to, um... They, like, they won't be able to know whose role is who, and their main objective is to try and find out, um, their, get their objective done, by the end of the game. And if they complete their objectives, they won individually. If they didn't, they lose. So let's see if Leonard can pull off some kills. Also, before this battle begins, or this, I guess this D&D &D adventure that you're truly written, um, I'd like to make a shout out to uh, Roll20.net. They allowed us, or they allowed me to use this type of equipment, minus the charts they used, MS Paint, sorry, for a little budget. Um, but the whole, like, the whole field of, like, the pictures and everything, thanks to them and their free software, I was able to make a nice story with, uh, without spoiling too much of the reveal area and stuff. So I... Enough of that, enough of that. I'm done explaining the rules. Anything you didn't understand, you can easily just rewatch what I just said or um, learn as we go. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it down to Zach to continue our story. Take it away, Zach. Thanks, Zach, for those rules. Anyway, uh, so right. Zach is so cool. So, we all, so, I know, right? He's talking, he's talking he's he's so, so, we're starting off. Um, so here's the beginning of the story. <clears throat> so, you wake up in a room. Is there any so, water? Those who know the better a little backstory, those who know the uh, um, Soul Academy of High School or know how the anime works, we basically are students of that school. We wake up in a mysterious bed, okay? And 
Right next to each of your beds, you see a cabinet. And next to those cabinets, you Does see... Does it have water in it? ...with stuff. Mind three health potions. Yay. And with those three health potions, each character will start off with three health potions. You can and... Change, you can change the world. I'm gonna let you guys right now, we'll each take one turn here and let you guys interact in, in the room. So, Brendan's first then. Brendan, what are you looking for? What should I stay? Uh, just... Just put me... Um... You're not gonna. We're in a room. We just woke up here. We don't know where we are. We can do it. Uh, uh, let, let me. Let me. Ex wait, wait. Can I explore? Yeah, explore in the room. You cannot go. Okay. Can I, you cannot go into individual rooms. Like we're in separate rooms. Okay. Like explore, explore. the other two cabinets. Oh, uh, there's Across? nothing. In wait. Explore the cabinets on the other beds. Yeah. Well, let's go to the cabinets. Yeah. There. Separate. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you find nothing in the cabinets. Good job. Okay, so Zeph. <laughs> so stop yeah. to the cabinets. End the story. Okay. Not me, well, right? The... Yeah, it's your turn. Where are you? What are you doing? I'm gonna go to the door. Okay. So that's Notice the... the door is locked. It, it's made of metal and wood. I'll grab front try and hit him against it. That's front try. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's have a look. See here. Uh, what I want to do? Uh, you know what? Fucking hell! I'm gonna examine this cabinet right here. Good job. You like Brendan? There's nothing there. Uh -huh. Okay, Leonard. <laughs> Hello there. I can see who's gonna be helpful in this one. Who, Brendan? Turn. I mean, actually, you know what? I think we got I think we got enough information. So we know the door's locked, right? So, all of a sudden, you hear thudding down a hall. Hide! You can't, you can't, you, you, well, I mean, you can hide if you want to, but that's up to you. My point is, you hear thudding down, like, on the side of the wall. Like, like, someone's walking down a hallway next to your room. Oh my. Stop it. You hear, but, but, it, it's this footsteps, it's not just, like, any footsteps. I have to get back in the screen before it punches crap out of you. So, <laughs> you, hear, you hear footsteps, but the footsteps seem weird. They're not like normal Except human footsteps. Screen. Then why aren't they normal human footsteps? What? Because if what? you hear a witch. Oh, yeah, that's a weird 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 so she's souls. talking. So, so she goes. She keeps walking, pacing from door to door, and she she says, "You know why you're here, right?" No. 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 Because yeah. Zach puts us here. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> it's because I'm going to sacrifice you. Oh great. great. Wait, how much health do we have? I'm Wait. I'm kidnapping students from the academy. And using them. Wait, can you at least give me a flower? Only for it to the chocolate gods. But in that instant, I break the door oh, down. A fiery portal appears. You say that. Good thing you're close to the hall room. Yeah. Knights yeah. come flying out of the portal. I'm gonna stay inside the room. One starts to unlock the door. The witch, at the same time, the, these statues right next to her come to life and, are, and they're, they're fighting this person. This girl unlocks the door. You can now leave the room. Um, while they're fighting, uh, we take roll to see who does what, does what now. So, I believe it is Brendan's move. Or Brendan, what are you doing? It's my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do I, is moving a separate thing from, like, attacking? Uh, no, but you can, you can come out of the room. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Wait, can I even attack without my wolf thing? You can, but it's not going to do any damage. Like barely any damage. I'm over here. So what are you going to do? There's a portal. I there's... Realize, I, they, locked I just... the three... they locked the three weapons away from like three mice. Can I just bolt it to the yeah, portal? Yeah, no, I did that purposely. What? Uh, for yeah, what? You, you can go through the portal, but then we have to wait till we have to wait till that scene pops up the portal in it, and that's not for. I mean, you can do it. It's up to you. For what? I, I, I say the meister should skip their turns in the scene. That's all I have to say. I don't have one. So they all skip their turn, it's my turn. I'll do that. Okay. Um, so then, Zeph, what are you doing? Can I shoot through the window? 
Uh, you don't have a gun. Or we could attempt to try and break it down with our weapon abilities. You wanna do a roll on that, though? I got a seven! Oh my god, where is so, the so you break Good the job, hinges, but the door is so heavy it still sticks there, like you, you got it stuck. Wow! Okay. Good so, okay. job, um, wait, so how much health do we have? It is French Fry's turn. French Fry, what are you doing? Zach, how much health uh, do we have? Let's see here. Go ahead, cut oh. is so much if, bigger than mine. We all have 300 health, being that we are level 3. I'll tell you let's our health when you here. take damage. What, what do I want to do? So Zeph's, oh, so Zeph's trying to break down the door, right? Yes. He's, 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 he he almost broke it down, but he got it stuck. If you want to try and do the same thing, you can roll a 20 as well. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna. That is bigger than mine as well. We're gonna bust this door right down. All right, I gotta remember how to use the dice. Okay, there it is. Roll a twenty, buddy. I know. I played D&D before. Oh, I did. I didn't do. I didn't fare right. much better, actually. Hold on, let me move the way first. So, hey, don't worry. You're not gonna take damage for that. So that's or, so. You're not. The door's already open on your side, Leonard. Why the fuck would you? No, do that? no, I didn't even press that. My fault. My fault. <laughs> okay, so. French Fry rolls a five. Um, he does <laughs> about the same amount of damage. The, do the door starts to tumble in. Um, so then we have Leonard. Do you want to skip your turn because the door is open? Of course I do. My turn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna help them out. I'm gonna roll. The oh, no. I roll again. Oh. Oh, please, please let it be a one. I'll do it. Here. Roll. Point. Ready? Yeah. There. Thirteen. All right. The door is gone. Well, I couldn't do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> roll a seven. Dude. That's like that's. that's Dude, Dude, that's like the door has like a Dude, the door has a defense level of like five. The door. Okay, so the door's open. Um, then we so go bad. to... Poor uh, dude. Christy, Christy, it's your turn. What are you doing? Christy? Christy. I'm debating. You can make any action right now. You can do it! So wait, I can Just leave the room, right? Yes, yeah, so you can leave the room, but where are you going exactly? Can you go like, out of the portal? You could try and come Wait. over by us. I could. Oh, yeah, that's weapons. right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot. You guys all moved once, so that means... That means that there's... I forgot to put the event in action. So, the snake sees that this, the first stone girl has tumbled. She's dead. But this girl is fatally injured, and she, like, is attempting to fight this one, because she thinks she's all that, because I can do that. And this, the, the, the wizard is... Or the wizard. The witch is basically ran away. Show it up. Show it up. The girl right here... Is, is checking to see if everyone in this room is okay. That's up to Christy if she wants to stay there. Sorry, okay, now go now make your move, Christy. Sorry, you made a roll around. Can I go into the fire portal? Yeah, you can. Okay. So Christy's in the portal, and then she won't be seen until the next scene. So that's fine. Now she can't leave the Oduke. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. So that's fine. Um, and then I My believe... turn? Yeah, no, it's no, Brendan's turn. Brendan, Brendan, go. What are you doing, Brendan? Okay. Do you, do you think I can make it to Zeth? Do I have to roll anything? Yeah, you would have to roll. Um, I'm gonna say that would be a stealth roll. I mean, you're yeah, not being stealthy. That, but that'd be a, yeah, that'd be a stealth roll. So roll a twenty. And you got a ten. Nice. You can you can get white past it. That that's long enough. Trust me. Okay. So we're gonna get to Zeth. So we're gonna go into combat then. Yeah, um, based on this roll, kill, like, I'm gonna say the the ladies like she gets that, knocked there out of the tank club. And, um, Shooter! Shooter! Sweet, I'm cold. Okay, so combat, combat, let me get my dice out. Shooter! Shooter! I need you to roll, Zeth, I need you to roll, uh, 20 for combat. Oh, so if wow. you and Brendan are fighting. Boom! 16! So, damn, okay, so that's... She six. did! Well, I need to, I'm, I'm gonna roll her health right now. Her health is... So she has a thousand health. Um, that's not really good. She's dead. Me, but She's dead. Really. What about Brendan's special ability? Does it activate? Brennan, do you want to use your special ability before you guys attack? Sure, why not? Zach, are you fine with okay. it? No. Okay, <laughs> I mean, either way... Either... Okay, rolling it. Um, so... Oh, no, I don't even have to roll it, because that's... Okay, so... Wait, roll a yes or no die. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh... Okay, Zeth remains fine after this battle, and based on the damage, you straight up killed the. Um, wait, don't you have to, wait, did he use his ability? Oh yeah, he did. So that means, well, yeah, it doesn't matter if he uses it or not. 
You shouldn't know this much, but you. Dan, Brendan, you are also fine after the battle, luckily. I already oh, rolled wow. the stuff before. Okay. Um... Do, do we loot the body? Yeah, can we loot the body? Oh, yeah. Up. Let me roll to see if you have an item. Uh... Yes. You, there, you drops one health power up. One of you can use it. I'll take it. Well, it's, it's, it's up to be... Brendan, you fine with that? Yeah, but no damage was taken in this battle, luckily. Okay. Yeah, I'll be Man, fine. you both level up, you both are level 4 now. Sure, 400 health. Man, we insta killed that thing. And then I believe the I believe what we have again, the girl's still knocked out on the floor, and uh, we are at Brennan's death one in the battle, so then it's French Fry's turn. Alright, I'm, I'm headed out. Yeah, let's go to the portal. So to the lady here, the pretty lady. She's knocked out on the floor from the fighting angel. Oh. Give her uh, a health potion. Loot her! Loot her! Loot her! <laughs> you can do a looting roll. It's up to you. Alright, uh... We'll, uh do it. Right. 360 looting trick! Oh. That was funny. He here got it, huh? Oh, that's what Wait, well, it oh, would be a. Wouldn't it be a D12 or a D20? Uh, it's a D20. I forgot. D20. Uh, all, for this game, it's all 20s. So we don't worry about it. All right, D20 for luck. Points for style. All right, 13. 13. Yeah. Okay, so when you're looking.